Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to add an MP3 as background music onto your Tyrannus and set it up so you can flip a switch like this and it will start playing. It might seem crazy what I'm about to say. So, first thing you need to do is have an MP3. In this case, we're going to use this Def Leppard Pour Some Sugar On Me off the Hysteria album. The first thing you need to do is download Audacity. Audacity is a free sound editing tool. It doesn't cost you anything and there will be a link in the about on how to do it uh, or where to get it from. First thing you need to do, drag your MP3 over to Audacity and Audacity will import the MP3 and it will look like this. All right now you have to remember that the Tyrannus by default can't play MP3s but it can play WAV files and they need to be a specific format. First thing we need to do is click right over here just so that it selects the entire track like this. Then you go to tracks, stereo to mono because the <laughs> there's only one speaker and so you don't need stereo you just need mono so they're converted it all down to mono the next thing you need to do is come down to this bottom left hand corner down here and click on that and you want to choose one that says 32,000 and that's it then file export we're going to save it here as a WAV file. This should be the default that it comes up as. Save it somewhere where you can find it, like on your desktop here. And then go ahead and push save. In this window that pops up, just push uh, clear. You don't need any of this stuff. The trans can't understand it anyway. And push OK. And the MP3 file starts to export, like it just did. And that was very quick. Next we need to get the Tyrannus ready to be connected via USB. So we're going to take these two uh, trims here, push them to the inside, turn on your transmitter, and you should be ready to go. See here it says plug in a USB cable for mass storage, so that's what we're going to do. Here's a cable. This is just a little short mini USB cable. We'll plug it in and plug it in. After your Tyrannus is connected you should see a couple more drives pop up under your my computer icon. There's one here called the Tyrannus. That's not the one we want. We want the one that's probably called removable disk unless you renamed it to something else. In this case I know it's a 2 gig card and this one says 1.83 gig so this is probably it. So I double click it and there's one here called sounds and I double click on that and then EN for English and this is the uh, directory that has all your sounds in it. So over here I have the Def Leppard track I just created and I need to rename this to something short. I'm going to call it uh, Def Lep Sugar SU. Def Lep SU. Alright, so go ahead and click off that so it saves it and I'm just going to drag that over to my uh, Tyrannus directory and just give a few seconds of copy here. So now the file is actually on the Tyrannus. So the next part is to set up the Tyrannus to play the file. I've disconnected the Tyrannus from the uh, computer. Welcome to Tyrannus. Flight so mode one. In this case, on my mini tricopter, I know that this one is set up to play music and plays a separate track down here. This one over here Zero DB. tells me the, the DB loss on my RSSI. So this one here doesn't do anything. So that's the SA. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on the SA. The reason I like using this one here is because I can find it easily without looking down. So let's go in and we'll set it up. So when you set this up, you'll have to set it up for each one of your models individually because they each have their own set of settings. So I go to the menu, find my mini tricopter, hit the menu button, and I'm going to go over to special uh, functions. Then I'm going to go down here and find a free one. I'll pick number nine. I push enter. Okay, now here I push enter again when it's on the blinking one. And I'm actually going to flip the SA switch so that it knows. Sorry, I said it was SA. It's actually SE because it's on the top. SE, not SA, my bad. Anyway, flip the switch and it will show you the different positions. So I'm going to put it into the neutral and uh, push enter. Then we go over to the next place and I'm going to choose uh, background music. It might 
There it is. So then I'm going to change this to. <laughs> I'm going to change this to. We called it Def Lept Su. There it is. So I go ahead and I save that. And so I got background music and the name of the audio track. So we'll go ahead and oops, exit out of there. And let's see what happens. So here we are back out the main menu. Let's flip the switch and see if it plays. Sure enough, there it is. Good. I always fly a little more aggressive when I have some music playing. Uh, so this wasn't too bad. If you want to, if you have another song, you can put it on to the uh, other switch. And just so you know, the Tyrannus will just keep repeating the same song when it's when it's set up as background music. And you can string up one or two or three or four or however many MP3s you want together. They just you got to figure up they're going to be about 20 meg a piece when they uh, when 20 meg per song. Anyway, if you have any questions about this, leave them in the comments, and I will try to answer them as best I can. And as always, thanks for watching.